This guy is Jeff Zelasco. I am David Black, and we're at Mark Martin Kia south of everything in Batesville. And we're here to talk about automobiles. We're here to talk about some uh, uh, technologies. It's, it's that time of year that the wintertime's about to set in, and we've got knowledge that we want to disperse among our viewers. <laughs> Wow. Isn't it good? <laughs> We've got product we wanted to purchase. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Lots of it. Lots of product. Jeff, we, we want to mention at this time of year, it's coming into the winter season, and beautiful rig we have behind yeah. us. And, and one of the things that uh, you want to talk about was all-wheel drive. And let's just get right at it. Well, we continue to get phone calls, and people come in and go, do you have a four-wheel drive vehicle? Well, Kia used to make four-wheel drive vehicles, but they got away from that. We do have an all-wheel drive system in the Sorento and in the Sportage, and they're two different systems. And the one I really want to talk about today is the Sportage all-wheel drive because it's, it's very sophisticated. Uh, it's a Dynamax system, D-Y-N-A-M-A-X, if you want to go online and look it up. But it, it's a proactive system. Okay. That's what dif differentiates it from all the other all-wheel drive systems. It monitors what's happening with the car and what, what the conditions of the roads are. Okay and tries to think what's up, up ahead of the vehicle that might happen and already react to that before it's happening. Wow. Uh, you know, and we talk about all-wheel drive in, in this time of year in four-wheel drive, but an all-wheel drive system works year-round. Okay. So if you've got hot pavement, hot pavement can be slick. Sure. Wet pavement can be slick. This system is always monitoring to give you the best traction on the pavement you're on. Okay. Uh, it has the capability to put 90% of the power at one wheel if it wants to. Wow. If it, think that, if it thinks that wheel needs the traction. Uh, most of the time, you know, you're, you're pulling in a front wheel drive mode, uh, but the pull is not gonna be evenly distributed unless the system thinks it needs to be. Okay, okay. Uh, like, like I said, they tell us, now we've not done this, but we're told in training that it's virtually impossible to get this vehicle stuck. Wow. Uh, Not a four-wheel drive, but that, an all-wheel drive. Because it's that smart. Right, absolutely. Uh, so it goes through snow. <laughs> Nothing's really meant to go on ice. That is it, correct. It, it goes through snow, through wet pavements, through, through hot, oily asphalt, you know, and it, you're, you're safe. You've got good traction all the time. The other thing that Kia does in all our all-wheel drive vehicles, if you feel like you need to, they do have a lockout button. Okay. So you can override the all-wheel drive computers and have 25% of power at each wheel. Okay, gotcha. If that makes you feel good, you can do that. So you have the, the, but, the best of both worlds, depending on what right. you think your driving conditions need right. to be. But, but I, can, uh, I can attest to the fact that uh, last winter, and even the winter before that, um, I have hills to drive up to, to and from work. Sure. Uh, and I was able to drive my Kia past my neighbors and wave at them and drive right in my garage <laughs> during all the snowy weather uh, w without, without any major problems. Well, you talk about an all-wheel drive and, and, and simply and the explanation being where all of them are working at some time or the other. At some time. Uh, so at some time during the driving process. Mm -hmm. A little bit different and kind of explain the difference between that and a four-wheel drive and how that works. Okay. Well, a four-wheel drive, you actually have to lock in to place by right. either pushing the electronic button or shifting in and all four wheelers are pulling. Right. On an all-wheel drive system, again, you've got the computer. And you only may be using two wheels, you may be using three wheels. It puts the power where it wants the traction at. Right. So, you've still got the chance to have your fuel economy. <laughs> Absolutely. And your, and your traction abilities. Uh, our all-wheel drive systems usually cut the gas mileage maybe up to two miles per gallon. Okay. Right. Uh, because of the added sure. tracks on the roads. Um, cost mm, about $1,600 okay. right. on either vehicle. Um, but, but again, in four-wheel drive, you're in four-wheel drive. Absolutely. Absolutely. In all-wheel drive, a computer is thinking for you and trying to make the best decisions for the vehicle's traction based on what's happening at that second. Right, absolutely. If yeah, four-wheel drives, they're all pulling all, all, yeah. at all times. Yeah. Or There's pull. nothing computerized yeah. about making it uh, yeah. pull. The computer doesn't tell, yeah. well, we've got a little bit, we're going into this curve right, right. here, blah, blah, blah. That, exactly. Yeah, where no, this one does. Curve, that might take traction off, put traction on. Absolutely. You know, hot, wet, four-wheel drives, you've got equal pulling everywhere. There's no way not to have. Well, I think... They no, do have limited slips, of course. Sure, but, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 
this system is just really sophisticated, and if you leave it alone, it'll do the best job for you. Right, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and as opposed to press that button and don't let it yeah, work we if you want, want to invest to, the money. But, and from a safety yeah. feature, I mean, no doubt, when you're out on the road, and it's a curvy road, and it's up and down, I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a great safety feature to have. And again, we think of it this time of year, but this system's a good thing to have all year round. Right. Uh, you know, again, wet pavements, hot pavements, it's always working, always thinking, thinking ahead. Right. It's, uh, they categorize all wheel drive systems as reactive and proactive. Right. One reacts one to reacts what just to happened. It. This one thinks, knows what's going on right now and thinks about what's ahead of it and tries to prepare the vehicle to get through that. Well, Kia has done a marvelous job in the industry itself uh, of staying abreast of the technology and moving ahead and moving forward with the, uh, I mean, the technology is just, it's limitless out there. And this is just another great aspect of what Kia can do to enhance safety features, uh, driving ability, so on and so forth in, in one of your automobiles. Yeah, and that's, uh, in this segment, the Sportage was ranked by J.D. Powers is number one in its class. Wow. For 2014. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we, we got to talk about inventory, Jeff. We, we, well, when we pulled up here today, when Ben and I pulled up and we looked out here on the lot, it was amazing how good your lot looked. Thank you. It, it does look nice. We need to take a picture. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you. Yes, sir. Almost all the holes are full. You know, we, we've talked about inventory over the years. We've talked about being inventory challenged. Sure. Not being able to keep up. Uh, this year, uh, Kia has worked with us, and they have kept the supply coming in to take care of the supply going out. And we're, we're in a pretty good position to say we've almost got one of everything. Right. Uh, color you know, package classifications. Yeah, not one car, a series of cars in every yeah. colors and, 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 yeah. and well, equipment. I think we've got 107 on the ground today. Wow. Uh, and it's pretty equally mixed. Right. Uh, we've got, we talk about all-wheel drives, we've got uh, probably 15 all-wheel drive vehicles on the ground for you to look at. Uh, we've, we've got cars, and even the Sportage here in all-wheel drive, it's rated for an average of 32 on the highway. Wow. Uh, I have driven these personally and got 34, 35 in their, in their all-wheel drive right. vehicle. Yeah. Uh, but average Incredible. rating on 32 miles per gallon in a, in a utility vehicle. Uh, of course, the Sorento's larger, all-wheel drive system's a little bit different, um, and it, it gets about 28 right. on the highway. So you still got room and safety and good gas mileage, even though gas prices are down right now. Not many, not many people talking about it. Now, well, you know, you're right. It, it, it's amazing when they got below $3 and everybody went, well, what a deal. What a deal. Yeah. I mean, it is a deal in comparison to where it was, but you go, well, it's still $3. And yeah. it's, it's, still, it's kind of close to that, but, but it's yeah. a lot better than $3.50. 32 miles a gallon, still 32 miles That's a gallon. right. Absolutely it is. Exactly. Absolutely it is. Uh, well, Jeff, I know you guys have had a, had a marvelous year. We're in here in November. This is the November program. You, uh, you, we've had a change of model years. So to say, where are we on the 14? Any 14s left? Not many, I know. We're down to one model that we have 14 model vehicles wow. in. Wow, okay. And actually, it's the, it's the Forte, uh, which is our mid-size car. Right. Uh, and we're down to, I hate to be negative, but we're down to coupes. Coupes is, okay, what's uh, left? Yeah. You know, coupes were really hot. And with young kids, they still are. Sure. Uh, but that's seasonal. Right. <laughs> it is that. <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. Uh, but that's, that's what we've got, and we've got, I think I've got one Forte 5 door left. We've got a deal on it right now, but what we did on our Fortes, uh, well, our remaining 14s, we put them out there for October sales tax paid. Right. And just pretty well cleaned the house out. You bet, there. you bet. Uh, and new 15s are, are still hitting the ground. Uh, that we're waiting, we're anticipating our new Sedona. Right, uh, yeah. Which used to be a minivan, but now it's kind of a crossover utility because it looks like a large SUV. Uh, we're sending out information to our, key, our customer base on it, but it's, it's quite the vehicle, quite impressive. We're, we're anxious for it to get here. Talk a little bit about the year in itself, and, and not just the model year, but we talk about uh, the, the calendar year, what kind of year it's been for Mark Martin Key and for the Kia industry. Mm. It's been good. It's been, it's been good. It's been another good year. Uh, so, so blessed. Uh, our customer base still continues to amaze us as, as we draw more and more from near the Missouri border, you sure. know, up, up in Baxter County and uh, over toward Harrison and, and down that way. And uh, our, our customers, it's just the ultimate compliment. Can't believe how many people bring people in here. Right. 
or send people in here and to buy to buy a car and say, hey, that's where you need to go. You know, we, we had some people over from Jonesboro the other day, and uh, they they worked for uh, one of the large companies over factories over there, and uh, we sold had sold a Kia to somebody in that factory, and they're telling everybody over there, you've got to go to Mark Martin to get a Kia. You've just got to. And we've had a couple of folks come over, told us, hey, they, they absolutely sent us over here. We were thinking about one, and they sent us over to get it from you guys. I think the highest compliment that you can get is when somebody walks in the door and says, a former customer of ours, they sent me here. Yeah. They sent me here to buy an automobile. We, and and the, the other thing we hear a lot, and it makes you feel really good and it kind of scares you at the same time is that how easy it was you're right to buy the thing you guys didn't pressure me you know you let me look at the car and make a decision you know we had a doctor from Cersei last Saturday came up here and well he came for two weeks ago on a Saturday and looked looked at the car and they had some kids and they had some concerns about where they're gonna because they were in a large SUV sure are we gonna like this car or not and I told him, I said, there's only one way to figure that out. Take it home. Take it home. Get in, take it home, see how uh, it does. So he didn't take it home that day, but they came up in the week, and we offered to take it down to them and kept it for two or three days and came back and bought it the next Saturday, actually. Right. And when he was leaving, he shook my hand. He said, I just want you to know, he said, I've been buying cars a long time. He said, I've never been treated like this. Right. I said, I hope that's good. He said, I, it is. He said, you didn't pressure me. He said, you let me pick out the car I wanted. You, you didn't say, well, this is exactly what you got to have. you got to have it now. You know, you let the car sell itself to me. Sure. And he said, no, I really appreciate that. And I'll be telling people. And, and <laughs> of course, we're in the business to sell cars. And you want people to leave with that, with that uh, thought. And then the other side of you thinks, are we not pushy enough? Are we letting people just walk away because we're not trying to really help them make a decision? But... I think I'd rather be on the other side of that fence. Well, there's a fine line there to, to what is too much. Yeah. You know, what is, what is pressure? What is yeah. too much pressure? And, and I think the beauty of the business, Jeff, in your position or any salesperson's position is to be able to provide enough information to a customer to say yes on that car. I mean, because there's a wealth of information on that car that you have to dispense to, to the client, to the customer, because you want them to say yes because you know your product's good. Right. And if that product's a good fit for them, if yeah. they're saying no, there's got to be a reason why they're saying right. they haven't got enough information. And I right. think that's what you guys do a marvelous provide, uh, 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 I mean, information on the car. You, you, yeah. I mean, features, selling features, because the cars, you sell the features, you get in the car, you drive the car down the road, the car sells itself. Right. Well, that, and you're, you're right. And that's what I kind of preach to the team here. Uh, they spend hours we spend hours training sure. going over features getting these machines when we when they get here and using these features so we understand them and when we when we're showing a car we don't open door and go look what we've got right we are turning them on showing demonstrating letting the customer experience it and, and work with it and get to know it and it, it does make it does make a difference because there is so much technology you know uh i can tell you this car's got wi-fi or I can go in there and push a couple buttons and let you see what this car will do. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and, and that's, my guys do a good job of that, and I'm, I'm proud of them. And uh, their, their scores show that too nationwide. <laughs> well, yeah, they get, uh, they get a report back on those guys on how well they've done, you know, from yes. the consumer, from the customer, from the, from the buyer, from the yes. buyer who's, who's, who's real happy, and then they get a chance to grade what you're doing. That's right, and then, then I can see how my guys compare to the guys in my zone, in my district, and in the nation, the right. Kia dealerships. And I, I'm proud to tell you, they're up there in the tops. Good deal, good deal. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, I see it, you know, when I'm here and I'm here three or four times a month here, and, you know, over at the Ford store and, and, and know what you guys have built here. I mean, you, you've, you've built a, you've, number one, you're building a reputation of doing things right in the car business. So if you're interested in purchasing a, purchasing a Kia automobile, I don't know why you wouldn't come here as opposed to going anywhere else in the country. I think you guys are the best. We'd like you to come here no matter what you're going to purchase and look. Absolutely. Yeah, give <laughs> us a chance. We have got, again, you know, you see these, all these commercials on TV about what, what technology is out there. And we've got technology everybody else has and maybe a little bit more. Sure. And uh, automobiles are just changing so fast. And uh, 
sitting across from us is the new Cadenza over there, and it, you know it's got surround, gorgeous got surround cameras on it now. Really? You can push a button and see in front of the car, beside the car. You can have that camera anywhere you want it to be. Wow. Uh, even in drive. Right. Kind of interesting. Really? I guess if you hit something, you can see what you hit. Yes, right. <laughs> you know it's coming. You know it's coming, but I mean, if you want a luxury automobile, we've got it. If you want a sports car, we've got it. Yes. Uh, if you want an economy car, we've got it. You want an SUV, we've got it. Uh, you want all-wheel drive, we've we got, got it. it. So we've got something for everybody. And again, just come and look. Sure. Just come and look. Don't let the name Kia scare you off because it's not what it used to be. And it's, well, it was ranked number six this year out of all the automobile Is that right? brands. Out of 32 brands, number six. Not bad. By J.D. Powers. Not bad. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, that's, 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 that's an ultimate compliment. Yeah. An ultimate compliment. Jeff Zalasco, as always, good to see you, my friend. You. It's always a pleasure to come talk automobiles with the experts. And I do mean the experts, and I say that from the bottom of my heart because uh, uh, there's no doubt you guys know what you're doing here at Mark Martin Kia. Well, thank you. And we're, we're very grateful, again, to our, to our customers and our customer base for, for what they've helped us accomplish. He's Jeff Zalasco at Mark Martin Kia, Batesville, south of everything, and thanks for watching our show.